Jesse Hughes, 45, made it abundantly clear that though he was also a survivor of a mass shooting, the Eagles of Death Metal was not on the side of the hundreds of thousands partaking in the March for Our Lives. Jesse attacked the March and the Parkland survivors in a series of Instagram posts on March 25, according to Consequence of Sound. The Whitney Houston song about letting the children lead the way wasn't actually had operating paradigm for life, he captioned a now-deleted post, one that equated gun control laws to having a man cutting off his penis to prevent rape. And when the truth don't line up with your bullshit narrative just hold your breath and stamp your feet and refuse to accept it. Then take multiple days off of school playing hooky at the expense of 16 of your classmates' blood. It might be funny if it wasn't so pathetic and disgusting, as the survivor of a mass shooting I can tell you from first-hand experience that all of you protesting and taking days off from school insult the memory of those who were killed and abuse and insult me and every other lover of liberty by your every action, Jesse added. Long live rock and roll. And may every one of these disgusting vile abusers of the dead live as long as possible so they can have the maximum amount of time to endure their shame, thought and be cursed. In a second post, in which he shared the photoshopped picture of Emma Gonzalez ripping up a gun range target but was manipulated to look like she was tearing the U.S. Constitution, Jesse continued his attack. Behold, the awful face of treason, survivor of nothing, lover of treason, enjoy your little moment, it's about to end. I can tell you right now that the actions of these misguided youth and evil communists is making me feel terrified, with every broadcast of a willing and complicit press I feel the wall of security that the constitution provides being taken down bit by bit. He ultimately deleted the posts, but not before they could be captured. For those who forgot, Jesse was on stage at the Bataclan Theater during the November 2015 terrorist attacks in Paris. Gunmen opened fire on the crowd of around 1,500, killing 89 people, a total of 130 people lost their lives during the attacks, though his attacks on the parkland survivors are shocking, just as politics are not, as he has been a vocal proponent of the rights of gun owners. I know people will disagree with me, but it just seems like God made men and women, and that night guns made them equal, he said in 2016, according to Rolling Stone. I think the only way that my mind has been changed is that maybe that until nobody has guns everybody has to have them, because I don't want to see anything like this ever happen again, and I want everyone to have the best chance to live. I saw people die that maybe could have lived, he added. I don't know, but I wish I knew for sure that if they could have had a better chance, because there were some real angels, real wonderful people at that show.